Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my colouring chat. Um, this is an adult channel. We discuss adult topics and this channel is really dedicated to um, hobbies such as photography and colouring and reading and we discuss adult topics. It's to do with, it's to help with relaxation, anxiety, depression, pain management. Colouring is just very relaxing and we enjoy just chilling out and doing what we feel without any rules and that's the point, there are no rules. But this channel and the videos on this channel are not intended for or made for children so if you are a child please click away now. Right. We are working on The Sweet Shop by Chris Price. We have nearly finished it. We're doing the Zabel's Fine Gold Metal Prelims and we are using gel pens and our teas that ever blend. All we've got to do are the chocolates and the decoration on the um, the label. So we're going to finish it today on camera. We're going to do the chocolates first. Now, you have different colours of chocolates and I've got a few pens out. I've got a cup of tea here as well because tea's yummy. So I have got the colours Hazelnut Brown, Pearl, Pale Peach and Desert Sand at the moment and I'm probably going to use Cocoa Brown as well. So let us begin. So I haven't been um, filming for a while although there may have been a few up on the channel since or before. You see this one, um, those ones that I pre-made, and yeah, one of the reasons for that is I have been very busy. Uh, Jennifer still got her cough, so she's very clingy, and you know I've just been keeping an eye on her, making sure she's all right, because obviously she's more important than anything else. I'm also trying to do a stock take of my eBay inventory clothing. Oh God, it's a nightmare. I've been doing it on and off for two days and oh, it's just so hard work. It really is hard work. Um, because I've, um, it's been a long time since I've done a proper stock take and I started doing it and it's just a nightmare. Um, some listings have fallen off of eBay and it may be that I had them on auction they didn't sell and I didn't relist them and that's an error on my part. Or it could just be um, that they've fallen off. Sometimes that does happen with eBay. You'll have items on there and they will literally just fall off. And you're like, really? because it's ridiculous that they fall off, but they do. And then of course I'm finding items on my spreadsheet that I've sold and I haven't deleted from my spreadsheet. Um, I'm finding stuff that's listed that's not on the spreadsheet for some reason and I don't know why. So yeah, this pale peach just doesn't show up at all. Let me put a bit more of that on. There we go. Uh, yeah, hazelnut. <clears throat> so it's really difficult when it's like that to um, stop take. So I, I am currently going through my spreadsheet and my eBay inventory and I'm transferring the information to a new spreadsheet. So as I find each item and I can confirm that it's still listed and I've still got it on a spreadsheet, then I'm putting it across and then of course I will obviously check again when I go up into the shed. Um, and I'm making a note of ones that are listed on eBay but I can't find on the spreadsheet or are on the spreadsheet but they're not on eBay. There's a few where it appears I've got duplicate numbers and sometimes that's just an error in my typing. It's not doesn't mean that they are, although I did find a couple that were duplicated before. So hopefully now that will resolve this issue once I've done this stop take and everything will be correct and ready to go 
I have had a few sales, not as many as I normally do, but that's because I'm not listing while I'm stock taking. I can list because I've just started a new box, box T. Um, strangely enough, I've only put six things live on it and I've sold three of those already, so <laughs> which is cool. So it's just a matter of um, me getting this done as quickly as possible and then on Monday I'll be back to normal listing new stock or relisting old stock that has fallen off. But with those I've got to go and take new photographs because I don't keep the photographs because if I did that I'd have so many blinking photographs. I did to start with and then I stopped doing it because I thought oh no it's not going to work. You know it's just too much and it took me so long to find the stuff that I decided it wasn't a good idea. So, for better or worse, I, I dumped that idea and we went on to. Um, it's a bit green, but it's, it's a, it'll be alright. Uh, anyway, the main thing is that I've done, I'm doing the stock take and I'll know what's in there. Um, financially, I've not hit my fee target yet because every month you pay your fees. Now, some people, and I think they've got the right idea, but I just can't be bothered to try and figure out how to do it now. They pay their fees daily. So that way, it's not a big shock at the end of the month when the bill comes in. I just let my amount up and pay it on the 15th, which is the normal day. So my fees for, <coughs> for January are £102. I think something like that. They ran that. They ran the hundred pound mark. So that's what I need to take profit. You know, after postage and PayPal fees, which come off at uh, the sale point, before <clears throat> I can class any of the money of my own or to be reinvested. Now, obviously, I keep a list of all the postage costs, sundries, and stock. And at the end of the month, or when I need it, if I run out of money, it goes back into my account, my bank account, and then I reuse it for postage, which is all good. <coughs> Excuse me, that's just a message on the book of face. Um, but as of yet, I have not got to that point. I'm not far off of it, because like I said, it's been quite a good month so far. Um, like I say, it's died down a bit now because I'm actually not listing at this time while I do this stock take. Hands on that. But I am tweaking prices and the Cassini algorithm that uh, eBay use likes any sort of movement on your account. So any offers you make, any tweaks you make, it does like it. So that's helping, I think. So... But like I said, I want to get this stock take pretty much finished tomorrow, so Monday I can do some listing. The other sad news is the place where I bought a lot of my stock has now stopped selling. Um, it's a very complicated situation. It's very sad um, because the people that ran the sale, they've become really good friends over the last year. They, they dote on Jennifer. And I hadn't been taking her in because the weather's been so bad, I've been leaving her at Mum's. But when I found out that Thursday was the last day of the sale, I took her in so that they could at least see her. I will see them around town because they, they live in Risca. They're local, they're local people. But it was just very, very sad that, um, that what happened, what has happened has happened. And I will miss them very much. And it was sad. And the last day they gave away, what you know, literally everything was free. You could just take whatever you wanted. And a lot of stuff was gone. By the time I got there, there was still tons left, clothing specifically. Um, and I could have taken hundreds and hundreds of items, mostly menswear, but I could have taken a load of menswear and, and ladies wear. But I just didn't feel that it was right. I, you know, I, I took, I did take a bag for, I probably got about 20, 25 items that will tide me over for the time being. Um, we were going to go into Newport today sourcing, but because <coughs> when I'm filming this, it's Saturday, you'll be seeing this, it'll probably be Sunday. I'm just pulling all my browns out and using them all. It's terrible. 
but that's okay. Um, but because I'm doing this stock take and I did pick up those 20 items and I've still got a few bits upstairs to, to sort out, I thought, no, do you know what? I'm not. I'm just not going to do it. I need to put more on that one. That was pearl. Um, and it was a lovely day, so we took Jennifer down the park. And she went on the swings and she went on the slide and we ran around and there was a small fun fair in the park today. And like when I say small, I mean like five things. So there were two kids rides, um, the trampolines, uh, a more of an adulty, teenage ride and somewhere to buy food. I mean, it was that little. It was quite disappointing. It's usually bigger than that. So, And I went on one of the rides with her just for her to uh, have a go. She went on the same ride last year with her granddad, but he went with us this time. So she went on it with me. And I would say that was the summer fair because they, they have a summer fate and fair. I usually have rides there as well. They, and they do it at winter, but the fair didn't turn up at winter because they, they, were, they had a problem on the way down. I think they broke down or something. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a terrible, terrible cough. So we're just uh, finishing this off. So we had a nice day and it was nice to have a break from everything I'd, I'd been stopped taking most of the morning in and around playing with Jennifer and Paul you know having breakfast with Paul so uh, by this point I said look I'm gonna get let's get dressed get Jennifer dressed and we'll go down uh, we'll go down the park it's a nice day why don't we go and have a nice we'll play on the um, swings and around you know <coughs> so you can play on the swings and we can um, We go on the swings she, she can she can play on the swings and uh, it'll be just nice to get out into the fresh air so that's what we did and it was a really nice sunny day it was just lovely we had a lovely time jennifer went mad on the slide she had a great time and she didn't want to come home when we brought her home she grizzled and grizzled and grizzled and grizzled and then there's coco in the afternoon, my dad came up and brought with him um, some shelving for my shed. So that's a lot better up there now. It's getting easier to... There's still some work to be done, but it is a lot, lot better. And then we um, just... He played with her for a bit and then... He went home, obviously, because he needed to get home and have some uh, lunch. Um, I've just noticed there's a bit missing here. And uh, so he went home and she was not happy because she never is when he goes home. But uh, yeah, he went home and had his lunch and um, she went down for a nap, which was nice. And uh, I went upstairs and I took a big break off the stop taking and had to sleep. When I came down, Paul had, she was still asleep. Paul had been down the chip shop and got us fish and chips. Well, sausage and chips we had. And he got her a sausage because she loves fish and chip shop sausage. And we had that. And it was really nice. It was, I was going to suggest it anyway and he'd, he'd already been. So it's kind of like great minds think alike. <laughs> And Jennifer and Paul are both in bed now. And I thought I'd come in and do this. I did a bit more stock taking. I've done the majority of it now. I've literally just finishing it off before I go up. And I'm hoping it's not going to take too much longer. Because I would like to get it finished, like I said, because Monday I want to get back to listing new items. I've still got some computer games for my brother to test and photo and list. Most of them are not worth much. I'm just putting them in bundles, but it was nice of him to let us have them. So when we finish this one, our next colouring chart 
will be Fairy Tales by Emily Oberg. We'll be doing one in there. We'll be using the Prisoner colours probably, more than likely. Although I am using them in one of the Colour in Heaven books at the moment. I'm doing one in the Steampunk book by Han the Hannah Lynn Steampunk book. So you'll be seeing that at the end of the month and I'm really pleased with it. I think it's coming out lovely. I'm really proud of it. So I'm taking my time on it and I'm really, really going slow to make sure it looks the best that I can get it. So because I know I'm not the best colourist, I do it because I find it very relaxing. I'm, I'm feeling sleepy doing this now. I'm so relaxed. That, but I'm taking my time over it. I'm also trying to finish up um, a couple of whips this month that I've had hanging around. Mm. That's that then. Now I'll put those pens away later just because I need to sort them out and put them back in the right order. Let's just pop them there and we'll move on to the gels. We've only got the jellies to go. Hooray! So this bit looks quite complicated. This isn't and I'm going to do red on the corners so this, this bit will be red, this bit will be gold and that will be gold and red hopefully so we want to make it a nice box I do like pralines actually <laughs> so as you can tell I've still got one heck of a cough It is just not going. So other than this picture which I've nearly finished, I've only actually completed one picture which is one of the a Mandela book, a Mandala book this month. Because like I said, I'm trying to finish some whips. Well the whip I'm doing is quite a laborious one. And I'm doing the Hannah Lynn picture and I'm taking my time on it. So there may not be a very long completed pages. Although don't worry because very soon we should be getting the new colour in heaven. It's crazy to think how quickly that's coming out. I worked out that it, it should arrive. If it arrives early like the last one did, it should arrive next Saturday morning or lunchtime. And I'm not joking, it'll be next Saturday it arrives with any luck. I'm hopeful. It looks interesting. I don't know, I haven't figured out who it is this time, but um, I don't think that really matters. I did notice some bits up here. I'll just go. Um, because it looks pretty good from the sneak peek so they'll be telling us who it is next week so I'm really looking forward to it I always look forward to them and I am looking forward to getting some books that I normally wouldn't have picked up or I wouldn't have bothered about so that I can try something different because I was always like oh I don't really like that subject I'm not going to bother picking it up now I'm looking forward to it. I haven't bothered buying the collection, which is dogs, because I've got to be honest, I got the, two, I think it's 2018 dogs book. I think it's 2018. And I've not coloured in it, and it just doesn't inspire me. Now the pictures in the cover one, is they're really nice. I'm not going to lie, they're beautiful. But I just don't know if I want to colour in it, and I think in that's uh, 6 50 I could be spending on something else. So for instance, the new Deborah Muller book, Best Friends is out, and I've got that in my cart on Amazon. I think because I haven't bothered to go and put it in yet. And I'm thinking, I'm going to have to get that. I have to get it. Because the pictures I've seen on her, her um, Facebook page, they are just so adorable. So I want to go and get that one. I have been reading on my Kindle. I'm finding that's a lot easier to read on with Jennifer around. Um, well, not on my Kindle, but I've got the Kindle app on my phone. I have got a Kindle. But I've put, installed the Kindle app onto my phone and I'm just finding that it's a lot easier to read when Jennifer's around if I'm reading on my phone than a book. Because I'm always worried she's going to grab the book, especially if it's something like one of my Marin books, and wreck it. But with the Kindle book on the phone, she does try and grab the phone, but I don't worry so much about her damaging it because, you know, it's in a hard case and stuff like that. yes so I want to say hello to all my new subscribers if you've made it this far we are now 19 minutes in thank you for sticking with me and thank you for joining me on my colouring and hobbies journal journey I mean I know it is mostly colouring because I just photography is very hard to do when you've got a small child 
it's hard to carry a camera when you're pushing a push chair or you've got a child grabbing at you it really is I mean I do carry one but mostly it's for taking pictures of her at the moment I do miss it I will get back into it as she gets a bit older and she understands more so what are you all colouring what are you all up to um, oh and I want to thank the people who've joined my Facebook colouring group you know who you are thank you for joining me if you want to i will if you want to join i'll i will leave a link to it down below it's just andrea's attic culling group uh, answer a couple of questions although if i know you already if you someone who comments regularly i'm more likely just to accept you anyway but if you can answer the questions that'd be great and if you're a member already a member please feel free to put your pictures in and let me see what you're coloring i do like to see what everybody else is up to same with YouTube, I always make sure I watch all the completed pages videos. I like the hauls, I love hauls. I love colouring chats. Um, I'm not so big on watching live streams because once you, I, especially if it's somebody in another country, it's alright if it's in the UK because it's usually at a time I can watch it. But if it's like an American one, if it's a live stream, it's very hard for me to be able to watch it at the time it streams. And then, of course, You've got a one-sided conversation going on if it's a live stream that's been played back because obviously and quite rightly the person who's been live streaming is talking to the people that are in, in the chat room and that's how it should be and I've, I've got no problem with that. I do try and watch them especially if it's a, a colourist I really like like Grace over at Grace's World. I do try and watch her live streams back if I can. It's not always possible but I do try to. I've got a child that just wants to watch CBBS all the time. Although today she was asleep, so I thought, right, I'm going to watch something I wanted to watch for a while. And I put it on and she woke up and she let me carry on watching it. It wasn't really appropriate for her. It was a, there was quite a lot of explosions and it was quite violent, but um, she was busy playing and colouring anyway and eating her tea. So yeah, what I was watching is on Amazon because I've got Amazon Prime. And I, I started watching Star Trek Picard. Now, I am not a big Trekkie. I'm not going to lie. I like the first series. I watched some of The Next Generation. Other than that, I haven't really watched it. Now, and that's me. I, and that's weird because I'm a big fan of Scott Bakula who was in Enterprise. Then that, I don't watch NCIS New Orleans, which is in either. Um, and of course, Enterprise is set before the original Star Trek, and then it gets all com confusing with timelines and stuff. But I thought, do you know what? This Picard looks interesting. It'll be, you know, I'm going to have a watch. So the three episodes in. So I watched all three episodes and I've got to say, I'm really enjoying it. I think it's really well done. It's really interesting. It's a good premise. And if you're not a Star Trek fan, if you've never seen an episode of Next Gen, you can still watch it. It's not going to make a difference. It's not like it's completely carrying on. It is telling a story about what happened after Picard left the Starfleet. And it's 14 years after he left and something happens and it's just really good. I think it's very, very clever. I mean, I did watch some of Next Gen, so I know some of the people that he, they, when they're talking about them. But I've never been a huge Trekkie. Now, my mum, she does like them all. I bet she's gutted it's on Amazon. I'm going to assume at some point it's going to get onto Terrestrial, but I don't know. So that's what I've been watching. I've got a load of films I want to watch, classic Hollywood films. But at the moment, it's a bit... Again, I have to worry, really watch them when Jennifer's gone to bed. And Paul's not big on the sort of films I want to watch, which are like um, Doris Day, Jean Harlow, Marilyn Films, Clark Gable. <coughs> He's not really into that sort of stuff either, but... So, again, it's something I'd probably have to do when they're in bed. And, of course, when they're in bed, what am I doing? I'm making colouring videos for you guys. And happily making them. Or I'm doing eBay work, which I could watch a film and do at the same time. But, you know, 
You know I'm going to have to buy another packet of Link Shines, don't you? Because this gold's not going to last that long. Right. That looks like that should be pink in there and there. And possibly there. That was peaches and cream, I think, wasn't it? Peaches and cream there? No, that's... Macaroon. Where's peaches and cream? Peaches and cream. Good dinner. Ooh. Yeah, I've done it on that side. I just didn't do it on the other side. That's weird. That just me. That just me. Most of this is just going to be gold, but there will be some bits of green, uh, red on it, not green. Oh, I'm tired. You know, when you get to the, oh, the end of this, it's been a long day. It's been a long week. So Jennifer was ill in the week. I had to take Tuesday off because, I don't know if I filmed and told you, she had a temperature on Monday night. And she was grizzling all night, and then she woke up at 4 a.m. with a slight temperature, not huge, it wasn't too bad. Coughing her heart out, lever. Um, crying. So I gave her a cuddle, gave her some cowpole, and eventually she settled back down to sleep. Um, she woke up then. I got up. Um, at that point, I'd already decided I wasn't going to let her go into ner into nursery. Um, I got up about six because I couldn't sleep because I was listening for her constantly. I thought I'd go and have a cup of tea and some toast. And at half past six, she woke up grizzling and wanted to come down. So I brought her down, phoned nursery to let them know she wouldn't be in, phoned my office to let them know I wouldn't be in. And then I just spent the day with her and she was Oh, bless her, unhappy all day long. She was grizzling and crying. And she just didn't know what to do with herself. You know, when she felt a bit better every now and again, she'd settle down and watch some TV or play with her toys or ask me to read, to bring me a book and I'd read to her. But the most of the day, it was very, very hard work because she just did not, did not want to settle down. She just didn't know what to do with herself because she wasn't feeling right and I felt so bad for her. I'm sorry, but that does look so terribly rude. My mind must be in the gutter tonight. So yeah, it's been a nice day. Um, tomorrow is Sunday, boring, but still not at work, so not that bad. Um, it's only boring because I have to go food shopping and it's, I hate food shopping. But uh, If it's not raining, we might go to the park again after, after we've been shopping. There's a park down by my mum's that's so pretty. And it's got the swings and everything for her to play on. And we'll take her down there. And uh, let her go on the swings down there for a bit. <laughs> they actually didn't want to leave today and we had to drag her away and she was kicking off like I said so right up until after Grand had finished in the shed and then she was playing with him and it was all fine until he went home and then she wasn't happy again I love her to bit she's the best thing in the world <laughs> she really is and I'll do this one in gold as well we have nearly finished this 30 minutes in mine but we've nearly finished it Keep an eye on it because it normally turns itself off at about 30 minutes. Oh, I'm tired. So, um, yeah, next colouring chart, sorry, I digress, will be Emily Oberg's uh, Fairy Tales or a picture of that. I haven't decided which one yet, so I'll better make up my mind soon. But I'm also going to be filming fairly shortly my um, first attempt into grayscale. And of course we will be colouring in the grayscale Chibi Girls book. I have heard that the Jade Summer books are brilliant for grayscale. 
there we are it stopped at 30 just like I said it would I must remember that it stops at 30 every time um I was saying we're going to do Jay Summers uh Chibi Girls and I'll get I was going to might get the kawaii one because I've got the kawaii girls line art book I had it as a review copy from Jade Summer as a PDF and I've done a few of them and I like it. So if I really like the way the grayscale works, I might uh, have a go with that. So I must remember to go onto my Amazon in a bit and order the new Deborah Muller book Best Friends and then we can do a flip through with that, that'll be fun. I, I did want that as soon as I seen it was coming out because it's just so cute but I have got to be careful with money because I am trying to save we're going on holiday later in the year only to 10 be but we like it there and uh, we need money to spend we're also trying to save like I said to get this um the dining room where I'm sitting doing this renovated decorated some shelving put up a new turntable in and so on. So we're trying to cut back so I'm limiting myself but I do still have my Christmas money. I haven't spent it. So I'm thinking I was going to get a couple of um, diamond paintings and I do want to get a nice big Marilyn diamond painting. I got a small one on the way, it hasn't arrived yet, I'm thinking it's not going to at this rate. But I mean I quite like the fact that there's a UK company, what's called Fan Cells, but they're all very small, you can't choose the size. What I like about the, the sellers on Etsy is you can check Change the size of the picture and make it as big or as small as you want. Oh, sorry, I'm not on Etsy, on AliExpress, but at the moment I'm waiting for one to arrive. It hasn't arrived. So, obviously I'll keep you posted on that and as soon as it arrives I'll let you know. We have not got much left to do, people. I like the way this looks so vintage, it's so cute. It is so so cute. I like this book, I will colour in it again. Definitely. I mean, how badly did it bleed through? Obviously we used paper in between. Yeah, normal. Not too bad. It's nice thick paper, it would take ink tents quite well I think. Maybe we'll try that on one of the next ones we do. I don't know. I haven't used my ink tents for ages. Well, not since Halloween. When we did um, that one from The Beauty of Horror and I used them for some of the bits in that. That was a fun one. I really enjoyed doing that. Oop, here we go. I said we'd finish this one tonight and I believe me, we will. We're nearly there anyway. Yay! Oh, lovely. So, I haven't posted it yet. I'm thinking I'm going to post it before you see this one. My entire colouring book collection, I'm posting that tonight I think yeah I think I will when I finish doing this picture I'll go and start uploading it and then of course I can render this one afterwards so if you've watched my completed gallery and book collection what do you think of it it's not very big is it did you count how many books I know it's between 150 and 200 but I do know of people who've got like 600 colouring books but I'm actually trying to actually work my way through the books I've got. I am still adding books. Obviously, I'm still collecting the Jade Summers. I'm trying to collect the Hannah Lynn's. 
Deborah Mullers, Hannah Carlson, too many, Selena Fennec, you know, but um, I am trying to also colour in the ones I've got, although this month isn't so much a, a month of we must colour in every single book we own, we can't do a picture in a book we've already coloured in, I'm doing what I want this month. Now you could say these are leaves and they should be green, but I'm just, we haven't got any green anywhere else on the page, so I'm just doing it all red. So whereas the last couple of months I've actually been trying to colour in books I haven't coloured in before. Oops, there's Jennifer having a little cry. Um, I'll go up and check on her in a sec if she doesn't quite. This month I'm colouring what I want to, so I'm currently trying to finish the whip in Romantic Country, the Henry's book one. There's so many books. I've only got about seven or eight books to do now, so I'm going to try and finish that tonight, and I'll let you know when, in our next colouring chat if I manage to do it. Yay! Because I hope so, because it's been hanging around a long time, and I would like to finish that one so I can pick another whip that I've got in progress and jump on and finish that one. So, for instance, I've got the title page for Enchanted Forest started but not finished that I was doing with the ink tents. There's the Dracula one. Oh, there's a few others as well. So I'm just thinking I might try and... Um, jump on that. I can hear Paul moving about as well, so... I think he might check on her in a minute, which is good. But I'll go up in a sec. She's still got a bit of a cold and a terrible hacking cough. She might be thirsty or she has got a drink up there, but she might be her throat like oh bless her. She's good as gold normally, so I have nearly finished. And then I'm going to go and give her a cuddle after we've had a quick look. Oh dear. Sometimes I, I leave her for a minute to see if she'll settle back down again because sometimes she'll she'll cry in her sleep and then settle back down. I don't think she's going to. But we have finished, so let's have a quick look. So there is our finished box of pre-lines um, from The Sweet Shop by Chris Price. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below or give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share and subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, don't forget to pin, hit the notification bell because that way I will get to see You'll, I'll get to see, you'll get to know every time I post a video. My voice is going, I'm going to go and check on Jennifer and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.